Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. Today, well, today's the day I've been looking forward to. We're going to film a live feeding of a Gaboon Viper. Yes, it is a live feeding, so if you don't want to watch a mouse get killed and eaten, don't watch. It's going to happen, okay? So, you've been warned, don't complain to me. I told ya. I told ya. Grr. So what we're going to do, and usually we don't show the full thing, you know, because it's not a point of watching a mouse suffer or a rat suffer. We like to see the strike and then highlight some of the things that the snake is able to do. Uh, but in this case, we are going to show it beginning to end, and there's a reason for it. Gaboon vipers feed way different than other snakes. So what I want you to watch for is a several things. I'm going to kind of preload you a little bit if you've ever seen a gaboon viper eat. And also, before anybody asks, why are we feeding live? Well, we got this snake and it was already on live food. And we're going to let it stay on live food to at least settle in. And then we'll make a decision on what we want to do if we want to switch it or keep it on live. Um, with small food items, I'm not too concerned. With big food items, I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure that out when the time comes. But since it's already on live, we're keeping it on live for now. So there's your answer there. I want you to watch how fast this snake strikes. It's not going to go tracking its prey like a lot of venomous snakes. They're an ambush predator. So it's going to sit. It's going to wait. When the mouse gets into position, it's going to strike. Uh, then they tend to bite. You know, a lot of snakes will bite and release when they're venomous and let that prey run off and die and then go eat the prey. That's what you'll see from a rattlesnake very frequently. Every now and then they'll hold, but usually it's boom, gone, runs away, they go get it. The gaboon will likely bite and hold and actually lift that prey item up in the air almost into a cobra pose and hold it there while the venom works so it doesn't have to chase down its food. Pretty cool, huh? To give you the best view possible, we will keep the doors open while we feed. There's a couple things with that. You're gonna be like, man, it looks like you're really close. No, we're not. Trust me, the camera has zoom feature. Kurt is gonna stay way back. He doesn't want any of this. Uh, I'm also not gonna stand in front of the doors. We're gonna do it safe. We just wanna make sure the best view. So there is all of your traditional safety warnings. We ready to get to this thing, Kurt? Yeah. All right, first, the prey item. And why the hook? Well, just because you'll see in a second why I have the hook. So first on this cage, we make sure the, the flap is locked. It is. We can then pull out that one. We'll leave that one in for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to go ahead and pop open for me. You can hear it hissing. Hi there, buddy. I know. Okay, so now what we're going to do, pop that free. So now the doors can be opened. That is where using a tool comes in. Now again, this is just so you get a nice clean view without having to look through glass, okay? That's all that that's for. All right, Kurt, are you ready on the camera end? Yep. If you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and drop the little mousey in. And just watch, when that mouse goes in front, it is likely going to get struck at very quick and there's that pose i'm talking about where it holds up in that near cobra pose and is currently pumping the venom into it so it'll hold it like that the entire time until that rodent passes away at which time it's going to swallow it most likely without ever touching the ground staying in that pose which is just a very very unique way to see a feed it's so different than what most venomous reptiles do which is why we wanted to show you beginning to end uh, you're also going to get to see how this thing swallows it may try to rotate it around and find the head and it may just fold it up like a taco and take it down we're going to find out you can also see how quick it works that rat is now only got twitches left the rat or not the rat the mouse in this instance is pretty much already deceased that is just uh, a little leftover nerve shutting down so very very efficient very very fast very very neat to see at the end kurt is going to attempt if it works so you may see you may not to slow that down and let you have a look at exactly how fast that is because if you blinked you missed it i mean it is just bam so cool to watch a few things about these vipers so they have the longest fangs in the world at over two inches they have an, an a very large venom yield and the venom is fairly toxic it's not the most toxic but when you consider how much yield of venom they have it is definitely gnarly and you do not want to take a bite from this it is hemotoxic and cytotoxic so it is going to attack your blood and your tissue and your cell structure in other words it's going to suck uh, this would be a very 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 painful bite on a prey item they're going to succumb so fast it's not that there's this huge great amount of pain and suffering because it's over really quick as you can see but on a human, you know, 
on the quick end, this could kill a human in probably a little over two hours, uh, barring allergic reaction, which would be a horrid two hours. So here you go, it's gonna begin the swelling process. And as you can see, it's kind of working it around to the head in this case, which is just so neat because it's not letting it down. And you know, where most snakes would drop it and poke around to find it, this thing's keeping it in the air and kind of walking it sideways, which I just find awesome. And now we're kind of lined up and then it's gonna stay in this position and you can kind of see those fangs working uh, to swallow that down. Look how big those are even on a little snake. So this snake is probably just under two feet, yet those fangs are massive already. Oh man, I just love this thing. So you guys can tell I get overly excited about the Gaboon, which we still haven't got a name for, but we will. Patreon's gonna help us do that through a poll. Uh, and there it goes, just gonna suck it right down now. <laughs> just so neat. And how it's buried, that's something else I wanted to cover. So this snake in the wild would bury itself in like the, the floor, the leaf litter, whatever's on there. In our case, we put a nice thick layer of coconut so that it could do it. And you can see it's pretty moist where it is because we do keep it well misted in there. Uh, so they kind of use their body and they shift that around and they sink down in that. And they do, they just wait for that prey item to come by and then they pop it. It's even thought that they may do some luring by twitching their eye. Uh, that's not proven. It's just they don't know what the eye twitch is always for, but it's thought that it might be to attract prey to them to see if that little bit of movement is possibly a uh, little bug or something that can be edible for a prey item. Same with the horns on the nose. Uh, you know, they kind of just stick up and out to help them look like a leaf. And if you look too, they've got that line that divides their head in half, which I think is amazing. It just makes them look really cool. But that's part of the camo to make their head look like a leaf. And that quick, that thing is gone. All right, guys, there it was. A uh, live feeding of a Gaboon Viper. So again, I hope you focused on what we're trying to show. The speed, the way they eat that's different and just how fast all of that works with them. The way they levitate that prey is just really phenomenal, really cool. If we wait a second, we might get lucky and it might kind of reset its jaw and its fangs and you might get kind of a good view inside the uh, mouth of a Gaboon Viper, which is usually very, very white. And if you're seeing that very, very white mouth with those two large fangs, by the time your brain registers you saw it, it's probably already stuck you twice and you're having a bad day. Their strike is extremely, extremely fast and they can strike from a ton of angles. Just really cool animals. Kurt, anything you want to add about this, Gabby? When it gets bigger and it starts eating bigger items, mm -hmm. will it still eat it the same way? Uh, if it can pick it up, yes. And it will still usually hold on to its prey. So it may not always levitate it if you're feeding it like a rabbit down the road, which, believe it or not, they get big enough they can eat rabbits. But they are known for holding their prey. So it doesn't usually let it go. That being said, I have seen videos of Gaboon, of Gaboon Vipers striking and releasing. They're kind of unpredictable on that front. But this is a snake that doesn't really like to move. They're a very heavy bodied snake. It's a lot of energy to move. They don't crawl real fast. Uh, so for them to have to go down and chase that prey is a lot. So if they can hold it and keep it there, it's much better for what they want to do. So they're typically gonna at least hold on to it. Uh, now, when I say they don't move very fast, remember I'm talking as they're kind of crawling around. They move like a caterpillar motion, not even the S-curve motion. And there's a whole name for that we could get into if we wanted to, but it's not really that important. But their strike is lightning. So you cannot say, oh, it's just a slow move and easy to work with Gaboon, and people make that mistake. And they're also very, very placid. So you can usually make that mistake, but the day you can't, you might be bleeding out your arse. So don't do that if you get one of these. Always, 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 always treat an animal like this with the respect it deserves and understand that even something this size can, can kill you and can kill you very, very fast. Um, there's a big debate. I've read all people saying, does this make a very good first venomous snake? And my thought is always kind of no. I think your, very, your first venomous snake should be one that Always make sure you remember what it is. And these have a tendency to let you make mistakes. And if it's your first venomous snake, you may not understand the mistake you're making on your distances and how close you are and things you do. And they can make you lazy. Um, 
until the day they don't. Here comes the yawn. Oh, beautiful. All right, we are going to go ahead and close up some of the glass. And again, you can see we're using our tools for that. We're not putting ourselves. And that is a Gaboon Viper hissing at me because it does not like me messing with anything. I know, sweetheart. I know. I know, I know, I know. I know. This was not to slam, so we're good there. We'll just give that a push and a click, a push and a click. If we don't want to disturb this thing too much right now, just simply because it just ate. And what this is for is just if that thing were to pop at the door, this will help to hold the door closed while I flip that switch. Again, always want to be very, very safe. Pop in the uh, safety pins. I know, I know, I know. You got a dinner today, though. And I think every time you talk to a Gaboon Viper, you find yourself stealing a little bit of that Viper Keeper voice. It's just <laughs> hard not to. All right, guys, Gaboon Viper live feeding is all done. Kurt, anything you want to add before we go? Nope. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I know I'm still going to get some of you commenting about, how dare you feed a little mouse to a Gaboon Viper? Apparently you didn't watch the whole video because right now I'm going to answer what I think of you. You can uh, take your lips and you can attach them to a certain part of my body if you say that in the comments. And just, just go ahead and just take your lips and attach them right there if you say that, and we're good. And that was a very nice way of saying it, so please don't uh, smack me for that, YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.